Hey everybody, this is Roger Eastlick with businesswebsiteceo.com and in this video entitled How to Install WAMP Server on Windows, I'm going to show you how to install WAMP Server on Windows. Okay, so a little bit involved, but try to make it as simple as possible. I've gone through it a couple times. It is uh, quite powerful to have a local development server, which is what uh, WAMP Server does. It gives you the ability to run um, Apache, basically a web server on your local Windows machine as if it were out on the web someplace. And I'll even show you how you can use domain names so that they'll appear in the address bar and it'll look just as if you were on a real server even when you're not, which sometimes helps also in reducing the confusion people might have because if they see something like localhost or localhost colon 8888 or something like that at the end, it might be a little bit confusing to them wherever they, whereas if they see something like example.com, then they might more be in tune with okay well you, that's the domain name and this is what you do after it stuff like that so here we are in order to serve to uh, install WAMP server what you need to do is you need to go into your browser and uh, type in WAMP server that's w-a-m-p-s-e-r-v-e-r dot -E -E com you will come to this page once you're at this page, you may notice if you're astute that it's not English, it's actually in French. And so we're going to go up here and click on the English link right here. So that everything becomes a little bit clearer for everybody. Okay, basically the same page, just the words have turned to English. Now what we want to do is we are going to first of all what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down here to the bottom we're going to put the 64-bit install the 64-bit version but you will you notice that there is a 64 and a 32-bit version here depending on what you're going to do you want to choose the correct one if you if you're running basically Windows 64 of 64-bit version of Windows you'd probably be just as good off installing the 64-bit version of WAMP server so that's what we're going to do so just click on where it says WAMP server and then click on here where it says download direct directly that's going to pop up this window and after a few seconds it is going to should either automatically download or or it will tell you as it does here that uh, give you an option of downloading it depends on your your browser is set so I'm actually going to go to the desktop I'm going to create myself a new folder and I'm going to call that WAMP WAMP enter enter again and I'm going to click on save so that is WAMP server that we're downloading and when that finishes we will continue okay as you can see we've downloaded WAMP server next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on the back button right here and back button again we're going to go back to the WAMP server page we are going to click on where it says forum. Okay. Now this page, let me try to enlarge enlarge that a little bit so it's easier to see. You you should still notice, um, unless it's a long time since you see this video, that you're going to see a sticky error somewhere here that says msvcr100.dll solution. You want to click on that. You want to scroll down to either the 32-bit or the 64-bit. In our case, we're going to scroll down to the 64-bit. And right here it says, it talks about the Microsoft Visual C++ 2008 Service Pack 1 redistributable package. And it says Microsoft.com, and that's the link. Click on that Microsoft.com link. Comes to this page right here. Click on Download. And it pops up. Okay, now what I'm going to do in here is I'm going to click on new folder. I'm going to type in VC as in Victor Charlie 2008. And I'm going to go into that folder and click on save. Okay, now I'm going to go click the back button one more time. Back button again. And what we want to do here at this point is you want to go down all the way down here to where it says 
Microsoft Visual C++ 2012. Click on Microsoft.com again. Click on Download. And select or put a checkbox next to the X64 and the X68 versions of the VC Redist um, files. And then click on Next. Now what we want is I'm going to click on, I'm going to go up a folder to WAMP and I'm going to click on new folder. I'm going to call this Victor Charlie 2012 for VC 2012. Enter, enter again and click on save. And if your browser does this, I'm using Chrome, it says do you want to, the site is attempting to download multiple files, do you want to allow this? I'm going to click on allow. This comes up now with the .x86 version. I'm going to click on Save. And if you don't have this going on in your browser, then just make sure that you download both the x64 and the x86, or the 32 and the 64-bit versions of that file. OK, now we can get rid of our browser for the moment. We're going to open up in Windows. We're going to actually go up to our WAMP folder. And I'm going to double-click on the WAMP folder. I'm going to double click on VC 2008 and I'm going to double click on the executable and I get a user account control. I'm going to click on yes and then next. Click on I have read the terms, read and accept the terms. Click on install and I think this is pretty fast. Some of the stuff takes a long time but this is fast. Click on finish once you get the finish button. Okay, we're going to go back to the WAMP directory. I'm going to go to the VC2012 folder, double click on that. I'm going to click on the, the x86. It doesn't really matter which one you do first. I'm going to install the x86, double click on that executable, click on run, check the box for I agree to the license terms, click on install, click on yes for the user account control. And I think this one's pretty fast. I think the next one is very slow. At any rate, if if it is slow, then I'm going to uh, I'll pause the video. I'll cut this part out. That one's pretty fast. Okay, set up successful. Click on close. Now double click the x64 file. Double click on that. Click on run. Check the box. I agree to the license terms. Click on install. Click on yes for the user account control. And this I think this takes a little a few a little while. We're gonna I'll, I'll stop talking and probably cut the excess out of the video so you don't have to wait. Okay, setup successful. I'm gonna go ahead and click the close button now. Alright, I'm gonna go back to the WAMP folder and I'm gonna double click on the WAMP server. I'm gonna click on then click on run. Click on, for the user account control, click on Yes. Click on Next. Click, click the radio button, I accept the agreement. Click on Next. Next again. I'm going to install this on the C colon backslash WAMP default directory. Click on Next. I'll go ahead and click a, create a desktop icon. Click on Next. And click on Install. This takes a little while. Again, we'll uh, let it run, and when it's finished, we'll be, we'll uh, continue. Okay, it's going to come to this screen. What it's asking you for is your default browser. We're using Chrome. If you're using Explorer, then I think you just click on Open. But I'm going to use Chrome, so I'm going to go down to where it says either and Windows 8.1, it says this PC, and Windows 7, it says Computer. You're going to expand this. You're going to see your local drive. Click on that. Click on uh, Program Files. I'm going to click on Google. Double click on Chrome. Double click on Application. Highlight Chrome. Click on Open. And it finished the installation. Now on Windows 8.1, I get this uh, Allow Access for Firewall Blocking message. I, you just want to click on, if you get that message, you want to click on Allow Access. 
here you can put your email in if you want to and click next and it says uh, launch WAMP server 2 now click on finish click on yes for the user account control you'll notice down here in the little right in your system tray you've got an icon I wasn't watching it but it would have gone from I think uh, changed colors a couple times now it's green so that means we're good to go let's go ahead and open up a browser and if we type in localhost there it's just a little bit slow as a virtual machine then you're gonna get this page right here and you are good to go congratulations you have a working functioning version of WAMP server um, this is really cool because WAMP server allows you to create stuff behind it's sort of in the back of the backstage where nobody can see what you're doing um, you know you're in total privacy you can you know experiment as much as you want break things as much as you want uh, develop things you don't want anybody to see and nobody can see it because it's just on your box wherever you are take it with you um, and then it's actually quite easy to get your fully developed website up onto a web public web server and you're good to go so this is Roger Eastlick with businesswebsiteceo.com thanks for watching have a great day oh by the way in the next video we are going to be uh, showing you how to use a, a domain name instead of localhost. Have a great day. Thanks a lot.